Hello elites and welcome back to Minecraft Live as Wild. This is episode 141 and in this episode what we're gonna do today is we are going to build some monorail stops. We're gonna start with one, probably just one today. Um, so I'm imagining, you know, we're right here next to this building with the monorail anyway. The flying monorail. <laughs> That's cool, I just wanted to try jumping on it. <laughs> so let's make it connect right here with, with... Sorry, we gotta get rid of two people. Two people's worth of chairs, that's it. Not even that much. <laughs> to be nice and small, so. Um, let's go ahead and make, let's see, let's use slabs this time. I'm thinking about slabs, let's make it small. Oh, that doesn't fit. Okay, because you can't really like, rock onto it. Okay, so we gotta drop this a little bit. Uh, we turn this way, we just go like this, and there's a gap, okay. So then we just drop the middle one. That's not bad. Can we go like this? Nope, we can't destroy the top one. Grr, come on. There we go. Alright, oh man. There. Now we have like a little staircase up here from the train. You can come down here and get on and like where's my train at? You get on, go flying down. Um, so we need a okay, so yeah, you know, you're coming by. Uh give me a uh, where's a minecart? Oh so first we need to indicate that there's a stop sign. Uh, let's see, let's make like a red, like, no, 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 what am I doing, no, 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 we need to utilize our futuristic technology here, okay, so we're gonna make this thing float, right here on the side, and when you see that, no, actually, let's move it over here, let's move it further back, because usually it tells you when the stop's about to be there, so. there we go, there we go, and I'm thinking about using a, let's see, let's get, a slab on top and then let's grab a dropper. A dropper with some redstone blocks. And I think I want to add uh let's see some red glass. Red glass panes. Alright, so on the bottom there, and then we're gonna add these on the So that's gonna indicate that that's a like stop coming up. So you want you know, be cautious. You know, if this is your stop, then get off! Get off the box! Get off the train, Ferrari. So um through its little, you know, power, and, uh, yeah, so you're gonna be flying down here, basically that'll indicate that, oh, there's a stop pad, okay, good, uh, oh, there's a stop, you know, uh, where is it at, oh, there it is, okay, here I am, um, get off, uh, get off, and then there's a stop, sorry, that was a really nasty one, <laughs> um, we need a, where's the fucking my heart, there you are, mine car, okay, so let's grab some power drill first, because if you unpower Powered Rail, it'll just stop you right away. And uh, the way they updated minecarts, you kind of just fly. Um, you don't even need Powered Rails. You can kind of push yourself. It's weird. Um, that's not old-fashioned. Bring me back my old-fashioned. Sound like an old person. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and put down a cart. And let's test this out. See, yeah, this Powered Rail would have like, died out a long time ago. See, I would have been slow now. Okay, so see, it stopped. Oh, and that's what we need to do. We need to make... A platform on the side so we don't fall off. I fell off the floor. <laughs> so we're gonna take some slabs, some slaps, and we're gonna put them right next to the tight rails. So come on. There. And let's make a three. Um just break these three and then you can walk across the um rails. You just gotta be careful, you gotta like look both ways before crossing, you know, so you don't get hit by somebody flying by. So, yep. I didn't look both ways, but I don't care. Alright. So, you know, and then you stop, and then there's a little platform. Uh, we, I was gonna put a flying, you know, the futuristic floating device, but I guess not. It's already floating with, with the rail. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop flying! No! No! I keep messing this up. You can't break the cart when you're in the cart now. That's stupid. Because then you'll break what's underneath it, which is the rail, of course. Let's make this wider. Hold on. I'm going to fall off. All right. But I don't want to make it wider. It looks just weird. Um, let's see. Ah, this is the beta testing of motherfucking rails and stuff. I had to do the same thing for this last old one. Okay. And if I get off, I'm flying. God damn it. Ah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it wrong. Stop flying and go. Get off. 
Okay, so why does it spawn me a corner away from it? Like, not right next to it. It spawns me, like, diagonal away from it. So I need to go backwards one, or else I'm going to back up right off the freaking thing. I guess you don't even need that. I guess you don't even need this either. That's weird. Wow. Okay. Well, um... No, because then it's not symmetrical. Let's see. Uh, it's not symmetrical with the rail. Uh, I like it like that. Okay, let's figure this out, guys, because we got to make this look nice. And we're going to do this to several other buildings. A lot of them might be unique to other buildings, but it's okay. Boop, there we go. It stops. This is the H-Line to 20th and Dark Street. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, this is how it goes. You walk, look both ways, cross, and, you know, say, yeah, it's, you know, this is your stop. Um, but say you want to get on now, you're going to be going in that direction. So, um, yeah, you're going to be going in this direction and... There should be, you know, what you do is just put, you put your cart on the rail, on the unpowered rail, sit down and push yourself. See, all you have to do is push forward, really. I don't know why they changed that. Probably because kids don't know how to freaking use this. So it's like, wah, I'm mad, I'm crying because I don't know how to use it. See, I can literally just push myself all the way through the city. Let's take it, by the way, so I can show you all the new um, route. Because I don't think I ever showed you after I finished it. Wow, I can even go up the freaking thing without a power drill. Wow, this, no, this sucks. Ah, uh, bring it back to the old-fashioned way. That makes a power drills obsolete, basically, because you could just push yourself, see? I haven't put a single power drill down. I've just been flying around. Pfft, bullshit. Anyways, yes, this is the route to take around. You know, you can stop in many buildings, if you like. You can stop on top of this one. Turns this way, it goes down, and then um, that building right there, you know, we're going to make a platform to that, we'll make a platform to that one. Um, so whether it goes through a building or not, or goes right by it, it's going to have stops. So there's going to be lots of stops to this rail, but that's okay, because it's convenience, you know? It's not like, oh, I have to drive all the way down here just to get the next stop, like, that's stupid. <laughs> it should just be like buses. So everybody can catch it at every available stop. All right, there we go. And if I get off this, will I? Oh wait, I'm going diagonal that way. Hold on, now we gotta test. If I get off this way, will I go diagonally behind? Why do I keep going this way? Is that just a set thing? I guess that's cool. At least it does it that way, rather than falling off there. Let's actually make some safety barrels because we're gonna fall off. Let's see, grab some iron bars, and we're going to go like this. Go out from there, and let's see, connect it. That's how, to, how not to make this ugly. Oh, I can't go anymore, okay. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, you can't fall through it, so that's good. Let's, if we had this, because we can walk onto that. Now we can't walk onto it. Slabs always make building a little bit trickier. Just a little bit. Alright, go across with this now. And there we go. Little protective rail so you don't fall off. Just in case you're an old person who's like, I have to go and get my medicine from the pharmacy. Let me take the train. You know? <clears throat> so you won't fall off, old lady. And then you won't be able to go get your pharmacy. Your pharmaceuticals because they'll just die. Alright. I don't know how I got that cart there. Alright. <clears throat> Next thing, we're going to build a uh, another little stop indicator right here, going in this direction. So that way, when you're going the opposite direction, you'll know that, oh, there's a stop here. But, you know, if you're not new to the city, you'll know. You'll know where your stops are, <laughs> obviously. All right. Like me, when I take the letter, I know all the freaking stops. Like, I can literally talk with the same time. Okay, this goes three out and then two up. Okay. <clears throat> three out, two up. Three out, two up. One, two, three, one, two. But yeah, like, uh, I'm always like, <laughs> I freaking memorize the scripting for the lady, the robotic lady. This is the H line to um, 18th in California. Next stop, Yale. <laughs> this is the Southmore station. Please move in and um, don't make a mess. Like, I don't know. I forget some of it because I haven't been on in a while. Because um, I have not been using RTD for a while. Because I have my own car, Fuckery. No. 
But yeah, look, now it indicates both stops on both sides. Um, that's nice. We have one stop here, finally. Ooh, actually, I know another little side project we can do. We still have some time. So let's buy ourselves some time. So let's upgrade these tables to a nice quartz and dark, um, dark wood fence for the table. And then uh, a golden plated pressure plate. And there we go. And now I want to throw these supplies off the roof. Let's um let's make this lighting futuristic because it's not very futuristic yet. It's kind of old fashioned. It's like having those old street lamps downtown. Those are cute to have around because it's like, oh, this is from the 1920s. Oh my god. When Denver was barely a baby, stop. Uh, or maybe a teenager in that, that year. <laughs> um let's okay, so it already has the style on top. We just need to replace the lights with a more efficient energy light bulb and um, and a floating device of some sort. Let's place in the power so we it's actually floating. And there you go! Too bad you can't put pressure plates on um, on sea lanterns. It's kind of weird coding. You hear me 4J? Fix it please. It's like, I don't mean to sound demanding with everyone else. This is broken! Fuck on! You know? Um, but it would be nice to you know be able to place decoration on it because it looks weird without it. I'm used to the glowstone with the trap, trap doors. So let's go ahead and place this, and then this, and then we got one more on the corner. Mm, oh no, two more, okay, we got two more, my bad. I forgot that this building wasn't a perfect square. It's um, It strays away from the design. Let's go ahead and put the five in here, and then one more, and it'll, this building will be kind of up to date. Um, because it is a historic building, like, I really shouldn't be touching it, but, you know, just a few upgrades here and there, just make it modern, but still keep the old-fashioned rocky design of, uh, you know, back-in-the-day stuff. I remember this building when I had the old city. This used to be the tallest, and now it's the shortest. That's funny. Alright, so this is the new futuristic design. We can't really do anything else. I don't really want to touch anything else, like the couches or anything. Um, it's one of each color for every reason. It's, equ it's equality. <laughs> Bye -bye. Um, so this is what it looks like. Nice, cool little stop. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope you did. Um, I'll see you in the next video that I create. Subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you. Goodbye, elites. Goodbye.